adapting to their environment and summoning wild beasts to their aid. This survivalist is built to handle any situation with their connection through nature. Welcome to the Guild Wars 2 Profession Spotlight, featuring the Ranger, the Lone Wanderer. The Ranger's profession mechanic is their loyal companions. The Ranger can tame wild animals to fight with them in combat. These can range anywhere from spiders to wolves, even to ferocious drakes. Each pet has a unique ability and is tied to a specific family which categorizes your pets. Refer to the link in the description below to see further information. Rangers can have two pets available at any given time, while only one can be active. Let's talk about skills. The Rangers utilize five skill types for their commune with the wilds. Command, Signets, Survival, Spirits, and Traps. Commands are orders given to their pets for offensive and defensive purposes, such as Protect Me, which grants protection and barrier, or the wildly popular Sikkim, where your pet rushes an enemy and deals increased damage for a short period of time. Signets offer strong passive and powerful active effects, like the Signet of Stone, which passively increases your toughness and actively makes you immune to damage for a short period of time, or Signet of the Hunt, which increases your movement speed passively and actively you and your pet's attacks become unblockable. Survival skills are aimed at keeping the ranger alive and turning the tides within a fight. Skills like Lightning Reflexes, which causes you to evade backwards dealing damage and gaining vigor, or the Elite skill, Entangle, which roots and bleeds all nearby enemies. Spirits are unique to rangers as they are beings of support and defense for the ranger and their allies, such as the Stone Spirit, which passively grants protection and actively teleports to the ranger immobilizing and crippling nearby foes, or the Spirit of Nature, which heals allies and can even revive downed friendlies. Traps are cunning abilities that will make foes think twice about challenging the ranger, like the Spike Trap, that when stepped on, launches the foes and causes bleeding or the Viper's Nest, which when stepped on releases a number of poisonous snakes. Let's talk about the trade lines. The core trade lines of the Ranger is Marksmanship, Skirmishing, Wilderness Survival, Nature Magic, and Beast Mastery. Marksmanship focuses on high power damage and increasing the effects of the Longbow. Skirmishing focuses on critical hits, as well as improving strike and condition damage. Wilderness Survival focuses heavily on defense and protection from conditions, while Nature Magic emphasizes supportive abilities through healing and boon generation. Of course, Beast Mastery has an emphasis on improving pets' damage and their capabilities. Sample leveling build linked in the description below. Any ranger worth their salt has a number of weapons at their disposal to assist with any wild problem they may have. They can use great swords, long bows, short bows, main hand axe and sword, off hand axe, dagger, torch, and warhorn. The great sword is a deceptively evasive weapon with strong bursts and good defenses, while the long bow is extremely powerful at long range with fast strikes and AoE. The short bow focuses on condition damage, movements, and evasive positioning. The main hand axe is utilized as a thrown weapon and can throw multiple axe at once, whereas the sword is very mobile and evasive, while also dealing strong condition damage. The offhand axe can reflect incoming attacks and throw more axes, while the dagger has a crippling ranged attack and can deal incredible condition damage. The torch deals strong burn damage and AoE, while the warhorn buffs allies and deals damage over time. I recommend for all players to utilize the great sword paired with the longbow. Both deal incredible strike damage and are one of the most viable weapon combinations for the entire profession. The ranger quite literally is built for the open world. Utilizing their pets and evasive maneuvers, they can tackle any foe with great ease. In PvE, rangers thrive as damage dealers, mainly with some supportive capabilities. PvP can still utilize the core ranger build, Valkyrie, which is insanely effective at most skill level. A small note is that sometimes pet control can be a bit challenging. However, utilizing and understanding what your pet can do can easily dispatch enemies and enemy players alike. 
The Ranger has three elite specializations, each tied to a specific expansion. The Heart of Thorns has the Druid. The Path of Fire has the Soul Beast. And End of Dragons has the Untamed. These will all be covered in a later video. With their animal companion, the ranger is at home when adapting to any and all situation. Between traps, survival skills, and a vicious companion, a true ranger is born for the wilds. Don't ever be fooled. All those who wander are not always lost. Check out the Mesmer Profession Spotlight linked here. Thank you for watching the Guild Wars 2 Profession Spotlight featuring the ranger.